What's going on everyone? Welcome to Byte Crypt. In today's video, I'll show you how to enable GIT on your iPhones or iPads, even running on the latest version of iOS 18. So let's get started. In this process, you need a PC just one time. It's simple and easy to set up. To do that, first visit the Side Store official website. This is an alternative app store for seamless sideloading of IPA apps or games right onto your iPhone or iPad. To get started, you'll first need to download and install iTunes and iCloud on your PC. Here, I've already installed iTunes. Let's also install iCloud. Also, download the following as well. Side Store IPA, Jitterbug Pair and Alt Server. Once everything is done, Open iTunes and iCloud. Log in with the same Apple ID and password that you use on your iPhone. Now go to your Downloads folder and extract both the Alt Server and Jitterbug pairing zip files. Once extracted, first go to the Alt Installer folder and install the setup file. Now, connect your iPhone to the PC and allow Trust This Computer permission on your iPhone. In the taskbar, you'll see Alt Server running. Right-click on it, choose Sideload IPA, select your iPhone and then select the Side Store IPA file. Now, enter your Apple ID login and click Install. It will start installing and sideloading the app to your iPhone. All right, it's done. Now open the Side Store app on your iPhone. Okay, one more thing. Here we need the pairing file. Again, open iTunes and select your iPhone. Go to File Sharing. Now copy the pairing file to your iPhone, which is in the Jitterbug pair folder we extracted earlier. Just drag and drop the pair file into the Side Store document folder. All right. Now, open Side Store and select the pairing file we copied. And that's it. We're almost done. Now go to Settings and sign in with your Apple ID. Then tap Refresh. Next, go to the App section. Now, you'll be able to sideload apps onto your iPhone within a limited time window. Now, we need to get and install Skitchit on the iPhone. It work on iOS 17.4 or later. You'll need a VPN to sideload it. Go to the App Store and search for Stores VPN. It's free to use. Enable permissions and connect it. Now open Side Store, tap on Add and select the Skitchit IPA file. That's it. We've successfully installed JIT on the iPhone. If it expires within seven days, you can refresh it to reactivate without needing to connect to the PC again. And that's it. We're now completely ready to use JIT-enabled applications on the iPhone, which improves overall performance in apps or games that rely on JRE. Anyway, if you found it helpful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.